Hi! In this video, we'll be continuing our study of ordinary differential equation. And after an introduction into what are ODEs, now we come into one type of ODEs known as the separable equations. So this is a first order linear equation, meaning that the highest derivative is the first derivative and it is linear. So it is look and but it also has to satisfy this form where there's no t's inside the equation and but there's a constant. So there is a general form which looks like this and we are able to write it down in to this form but the gist of it is just saying that the f x function it has a function of x only and a function of y only. So earlier we did an example with this. So this is a separable equation, but yet you can generalize it to just having a function that is able to separate into just writing terms in terms of x multiplied with terms in terms of y and then the differential equation will just look like this and it will be called separable because you can take 1 over hy dy dx equals to gs and integrate this to get ay equals to g capital gx plus c that's basically this saying because um you just need to bring this over then divide so that this is what it means to be separable and we see the following examples to help us understand how do we solve such separable equations so we got dy dx equals to some function x times some function y so this is just 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 which is the gx times some function y which is the 1 over 2 y minus 1 like, oh. and then we can just cross we just need to bring all the y terms to this side so we multiply over and then with that we are able to then integrate it normally that we know the technique so we integrate this side with respect to y and then we integrate we integrate both sides with respect to x, but with this, it will become dy. So when you integrate it, it will be this equation, which we can normally integrate when you get this. So this defines a solution implicitly because you don't have a specific y. But you can find the y because when you can, you can, make, you can bring this over and then use the quadratic equation. But sometimes it's not possible, but in this case, it is. And then, what, furthermore, if we know it's an initial value problem and there's an initial condition, we are able to find this constant. So we can find the constant c equals to 3. And we using that, we sub into back into the explicit formula. We get this. Um, following that, because we know the IVP is y0 equals to minus 1, it cannot be the plus version because that, it, then it can't lie inside it already, the initial. So it must be the negative version. And from an earlier explicit representation of y, it follows that y equals to this and so we see that the domain of y is minus 2 to infinity and so the and conversely the domain of y can also be estimated by locating where the vertical tangent line is basically it means that from this point onwards below or above minus minus 2 Or this from this point onwards, everything here is defined, but everything here is not defined.
We'll just do one more example to actually understand this separable equation because this is one of the easiest class of ODEs to solve because the functions is just doing normal calculus where you integrate one side with y and the other side you're integrating the x terms. Same for this, you just need to multiply over and then you integrate normally and you should get this function. So this is the implicit solution to the differential equation. And for example, let's say our IVP is a solution passing through 0, 1. We're able to sub in here to find C equals to 17. And this gives us the curve. So the black curve is what represents the solution. And if you see that once Y goes close to minus cube root 4, which is here, then, so y is minus cube root 4, then that will lead, cause it to be undefined because the gradient is tangent. So actually, you must draw like the, the hollow circle and then the domain is just within this range. Where y is like minus cube root 4 onwards. So basically, you must... When dealing with this separable equation, it's most likely there is some denominator or some restriction to the domain that prevents us from being com prevents it the range to be the whole real. So you just need to take note of where the tangent line are vertical to stop your IVP, stop your solution. So you. That's all for this video. It's a very short one because it's just the simplest case of the differential equation. Moving on, we'll generalize this to more and more differential equations. I'll catch you in the next one and please like and subscribe. See you.